Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Gianluca Massi speaking on the behalf of the Virtual Telescope Project and uh, I am so glad to start this live feed. I apologize for the delay, but uh, weather here has been uh, quite serious and uh, the wind very strong. I don't know how long the weather will stay with us, so I would really would like to start shedding images, just making sure that hopefully we can have uh, a look here, just checking uh, my feed to be sure that the telescope can be operated without problems just wait for a couple of minutes keeping my finger crossed my friends so here we are and let's start sharing uh, this with you. So friends, we are uh, just uh, trying to observe this asteroid. I'm just uh, running because uh, really I don't know how long the sky will stay with us. And uh, I think that we have something here, just trying to adjust things i was not sure we could run this because the sky is uh, very windy and clouds are entering the sky at the observatory so not sure we will succeed anyway here we are and i will explain what we are seeing but first of all look at this uh, sharp dot in the center that is the asteroid we have been looking we have been waiting to observe and to share live with you I'm happy that the virtual telescope is uh, once again able to bring these things live. Just adjusting uh, contrast. It's, it is hard to adjust the screen because uh, there are clouds uh, moving in front of the telescope. So sometimes I have to increase the contrast, sometimes I have to decrease it. So I apologize, but this uh, sharp dot of light a bit faint here is the asteroid. The asteroid 2008 OS7, the potentially hazardous asteroids which had uh, a safe uh, close flyby earlier today, a few hours ago, when it reached the minimum distance of uh, 2.8 million kilometers from our planet. So it is uh, close from an astronomical point of view, but still very large distance. So I say it. 7.4 times the average lunar distance. This uh, dot of light is the asteroid. So happy that at the very last I could start the observing session. I don't know how long I can keep the telescope running because if the wind will increase, will be back, I have to close for safety reasons the observatory. This is a large asteroid, a potentially hazardous asteroid. Its size is uh, somewhere between 200 and 480 meters, so it is quite huge and uh, it is, uh, as I said, a potentially hazardous asteroid. This is a formal definition. We call potentially hazardous asteroid every asteroid which is able to come closer than 7.5 million kilometers and large more or less than 140 meters. Every asteroid just uh, satisfying those two uh, conditions is flagged as a potentially hazardous asteroid. And uh, as I said many times the most important word here is uh, potentially because it is just saying that this is not eating us. It, is, it, it just means that it is good to keep it uh, under control to better understand and, uh, uh, I mean, uh, just determine it, its orbit. So this uh, dot of light here is the asteroid. We are observing under less than ideal weather condition. And again, the wind is rising, approaching uh, the safety limit. So I don't know if at some point I will have to close the observatory but for now you see we are taking images back to back and every new image is showing the asteroid like a dot while stars are looking like horizontal streaks because we are tracking at the asteroid speed 
So the telescope, the robotic telescope we are using is advanced to the point we can track at the very personal speed of the object. So we are happy that uh, after all we are here able to do this live feed. I'm just checking uh, a few things to honestly be sure. Okay. Okay. I think this is the best we can do actually. Okay. I'm always happy to bring uh, this kind of asteroids to you because uh, it is a good opportunity to remind you that asteroids are very important because uh, they were, I mean, the very pristine bricks used to build our planetary system and uh, asteroids are what is left from uh, those very past old times. It is the remnant of uh, the material around the Sun when everything started about 5 billion years ago and it was thanks to asteroids eating each other that planets were built. I mean stone after stone. But some of them are out there these very days and uh, mainly between Mars and Jupiter but some of them are moving on orbits bringing them in the inner solar system where the Earth is by the way. This is why from time to time we are just uh, uh, visited by one of those rocks and sometimes we can be we can hit an asteroid and this happened uh, uh, just a few weeks ago when a very small rock entered the Earth atmosphere just above Berlin in Germany and this happened several times. I mean that an object discovered a few hours earlier entered the atmosphere but many other times we just saw the object entering the atmosphere without discovering it earlier. This is why it is extremely extremely important that we really I mean observe, scan the skies every clear night to make sure that we can observe potentially hazardous asteroids and perhaps objects coming too much close to our planet. Just keeping an eye on the wind all the time because you know wind just uh, eating the telescope can really damage the precious mechanics used here but you can see how this small rock here is uh, there image after image I want to start a new sequence by the way Let's take a huge number of image. Here we are. So in short, we asked our telescope to point where the asteroid is and we know where the asteroid is because we know the orbit of the object around the Sun. So given the date, given the time and the location on the Earth, we know where the object is. So we say that we ask it to tell us our telescope to point the object. OK, and uh, once the telescope pointed the object, we say to the telescope, track it, because it is moving across the skies and uh, if you don't track it, you will lose it after a while. So here the telescope is beautifully tracking this uh, potentially hazardous object. This is why it is sharp a dot of light while stars are leaving streaks, because we are tracking it while it moves, I mean, across the stars. This is uh, something that the Virtual Telescope project can do and we have been, uh, we, we did this many times now. I am sure that there are many old friends of the Virtual Telescope here remembering this every time we did this in the past. So happy that at least so far we are just uh, observing and uh, now this is already leaving as I said because the minimum distance 
was uh, touched four hours ago when it was 7.4 times more distant than the average moon so not very close to be worried about but still close on astronomical terms and as i say this is what we call a potentially hazardous object now a star the asteroid is uh, its image is uh, embedded with uh, a star on the background waiting for the next image here it is so this one is already leaving us and i want just to underline that uh, we were never worried because we knew that this object actually had no bad ideas because of course knowing its orbit we know very well when the asteroid where the asteroid will be at any time and we knew that it was just an opportunity to enjoy such uh, an object coming relatively close but not eating at us at all no risks at all we always say this since the beginning I see now wind is still increasing to the point that the atmosphere here is very turbulent and in fact you can see that the image quality is now very very low because we are looking uh, low on the horizon and that is far from being ideal as for quality in astronomical imaging but also there is wind so the atmosphere is uh, dancing like in an airplane and this is why mixing uh, the light coming from objects outside it is giving us this blurry vision but still the object is here i want to show you an image i collected a couple of uh, nights ago when the sky was uh, much better by the way and uh, i see that the wind now is truly increasing so friends i have to stop the session and uh, i need to put the telescope just uh, in safety i'm sorry for this but you know we cannot risk to damage anything so my friends i was happy that at least we could see the asteroid live and uh, again i want to share with you this uh, amazing uh, time lapse i did uh, a few nights ago as i said under much better weather and sky conditions and uh, but again while the sky tonight was far from being perfect we could honor the promise we made that is we were going to share live images of this rock 2008 os7 potentially hazardous asteroid 2008 os7 we spotted it for a while before the the wind went wild again and uh, i had to command the telescope to close the, the observatory to close and the telescope to go to sleep because as i said we do weather here is now again dangerous for uh, instrumental safety but uh, at least happy that uh, for uh, 10 minutes more or less we could enjoy this asteroid line so we took the risk to open this live feed we were going to cancel but uh, i really wanted to thank you for waiting this way i mean showing at least for a while the asteroid i hope that you appreciate that despite the um, i mean 
the worst weather condition we tried to, to observe and we did actually for 10 minutes before wind went back again so wild that this forced us to close. So instead of cancelling this live feed we just working on this borderline situation and we won. So that's all for tonight my friends. Just keep an eye on the Virtual Telescope Project uh, website or on the Virtual Telescope Project Facebook page to learn where something special will be back again. And uh, again, I want to underline that you can support our project. You see, we offer many opportunities to spot what is happening in real time there without asking for money. But of course, running this project is not easy. It, it's not cheap. So if you want to help us keeping this up and running, always providing free access to these cosmic shows, just consider donating us. You can donate to the Virtual Telescope Project visiting www.virtualtelescope.au slash donate. And from there, you can really contribute to this project, keeping it up and running, keeping it alive. I want to thank the technological partners of the Virtual Telescope Project. They are Software Bisc, C-Web and Telescope Live. And I also want to thank all the media which featured our uh, event, making it possible for you to learn about it. So thank you very much for uh, joining. Thank you very much for your time with us. Gianluca Masi, Virtual Telescope Project from Italy. Good night. Keep looking at the stars. Keep looking up.